Hey y'all, welcome back to Horse Range Mountain Farm. I'm Nathan. Today we're out here in the shop. We finally got this thing cleaned up a little bit and we can do a little videoing in here. So today I'm going to show you some tools that I think every man needs to have. Alright, the first tool I think every guy needs to have is a hammer. You can use a hammer for so many different things. You can drive nails, you can beat stuff back into place, hang pictures, all kind of different stuff. Do construction work. Even if you live in an apartment, you need a hammer. Next tool I think you need is a tape measure. Just a good, cheap tape measure. It doesn't even have to be a 25 foot. It can be a 15 foot, 10 foot. And these things are really cheap. I mean, you're always needing to measure stuff. Uh, you need to measure a board, need to measure how to hang pictures in between each other, make them all even. It's, it's just real handy to have. Next tool I think you should have is a good screwdriver set. There's all kind of stuff that you need screwdrivers for. A lot of remotes for televisions, take them to on and off. People need them for their glasses. There's always a cabinet door coming loose. Something always. And it's just handy to have around. Next tool is just a good wrench set. Just have a good quality wrench set and uh, there's always a nut or a bolt that needs turning somewhere. Then you need a good cordless drill. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. These came from Harbor Freight, and we love these. They're just as good as Milwaukee or Dewalt or anything else. We've used these things for years and years, and they're still going. Good box cutter. You can change the blades out in them. Use them to open boxes, cut all kind of stuff with. A pair of needle nose pliers. That's just a cheap set we keep in the truck. And you can reach in a lot of tight spaces and get things with these. They're good for all kind of stuff. You can cut wire with them, you can twist stuff. And then a good set of slip joint pliers. Everybody around here calls these channel locks. But uh, you can adjust them back and forth, make them different sizes. And they're real good for like working on sinks and large nuts and bolts and things like that, things you need to hold on to. And uh, I picked up this set of three for pretty cheap. Good adjustable wrench. If you can't find that right, wrench, good adjustable wrench. A pair of ice grip pliers. These lock onto things. You can twist this little screw on the bottom and it tightens them or loosens them and you can really get a good bite on something if you need to hold it, especially something that's stripped out. They work real good on that. And the last tool I think you need this is just a basic kit, guys. It's just a good socket set. You don't have to get one this big. This one uh, works really, really good, and I was gifted this one from Christmas. And we keep it in the truck. But it's got a big variety. You can get simple socket sets all the way up to very complex ones, and you don't need anything crazy if you're just starting out. These work really good. Guys, I'm sure I've missed out on a couple of things. If uh, you see anything I've missed, leave it in the comments below. Like I said, this is just a good basic toolkit for somebody that's starting out to have. Guys, if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff we do in the shop, just let us know. We're probably going to start doing a few videos in here every once in a while. Um, might cover some stuff like small engines, like keeping your chainsaw going good, sharpening lawnmower blades, changing the oil on stuff, stuff like that. So let us know. You guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.